Howdy folks, I'm Keith Bowen and this is Hard Rock University and today I'm out in the backyard again doing some testing on my impact mill see what kind of modifications I can do to increase the grinding without decreasing the throughput. I, I, I want to get a finer grind. I'm definitely not getting what I need and so I'm going to see if I can do some stuff that's fairly simple that will reduce the grind a lot of times people use screens and impact mills, but they have a tendency to wear out pretty fast unless they're really expensive. So I'm trying something that may work out a little simpler. Let's see what happens. So here's the setup. We've got the impact mill going down there. Running up to the dust collector. Then the dust collector running down to the tailings bucket leaving out the top super secret concentrator. Now I'm running this there's the booster blower. So running one batch with that on, one with it off to see how it affects the grind. I know it doubles the throughput. I suspect it also forces the grind. Let's see what happens. Okay, now we're ready for screening. This should be the finer sample. This is without the blower. There's one cup, and this is a 16 mesh screen, 35, 60, 100. So we'll go ahead and screen that, and then I'll put it in... Uh, pans so we can see how large it looks. Do the same thing with the uh, blower version and we'll see if there's a substantial difference. If not we may have to dry and weigh things. And here's the various screen fractions from essentially one cup. You know, one of my measuring cups of material. And right away I can tell because of this that it either packed better <laughs> when it was this material here, or I, I did something a little different. But let's see what we got. The very coarsest stuff, stuff, the 16 plus, we probably got twice as much with the higher throughput, but that's so small it doesn't much matter. The 16 to 35 mesh looks to be fairly similar. The 35 to 60 mesh, there seems to be actually a little bit more in the uh, lower throughput material. This looks a little coarser to, by eye. And then here on the 65 to 100 mesh, it looks like there's less in the lower throughput material. And about the same in the 100 mesh minus. Again, maybe a touch less. Now just looking at the proportions, I don't see a huge difference between the two. Certainly not enough to make up for doubling the throughput. So I'm going to come up with another idea and try it and see if that helps. So here is the inside of the impact mill. There's the rotor and it spins this direction. And right in here there's your gap. This line is this right here. This line is that. So my plan is is to pull this out. It's just a removable plate and build this up with hard facing until it's this tall instead of this tall and we'll see just how that changes the uh, grind. Okay, so as you can tell I've built that up substantially. Probably uh, reduced the gap between those two lines in half. And while I was at it, I go, went ahead and re-hard faced those once I, since I had everything all set up. Okay, let's see what happens here. Okay, so here's the next comparison. The top row 
It's the last one that was in the black that was the about 100 pounds per hour with the uh, blower assist on the uh, the airflow. And the next one down is the 200 pounds an hour with blower assist with the modified uh, deflector inside the the mill. Now here's the deflector that I modified. I built it out a little bit more and clearly that did not work very well. So now I've added this substantially larger deflector to really make it hard for coarse particles to make that turn and get in there. What I'm hoping is this way. Only the very finest particles can get deflected by the airflow and get in there. Because what I really want is this area here. I want that 65 mesh minus. This is 100 mesh minus. That's what I'd really like to get it ground to. The 65 to I mean 60 to 35 might be enough, but this 35 and over is definitely not where I want to be. And you can see where it, uh, by increasing the throughput, I dramatically increased the large particle sizes. That is not good. I, I really prefer not to decrease the throughput. I may not have a choice with this mill. There may just be certain physical limits as to what you can do. Okay, that's looking more like it. So with that extended little plate in there, it completely <coughs> obscures the uh, output port from the uh, primary airflow. It really acts like a filter. Now, this right up here was with the previous configuration. This down here is with the new configuration. And throughput was roughly the same. I'm going to weigh these things and put the conclusions once I get actual weights on stuff. And I will put that on the video. But that's definitely a dramatic improvement because this line here is basically where we want things to be that side of. And you can see that there's a big, big difference there all by changing the configuration of the mill a little bit doesn't appear to hurt the uh, throughput too much, although it does reduce it some. I'll find out exactly how much later. Happy prospecting and keep it safe out there.